I just want you to ask any questions that you have before I pass the quiz out and you begin. I'm ready for the quiz. I have some things of yours that uh, I need to hand back to you as you, uh, Are you look it over and give it some thoughts. Just keep it on stuff, right? times 5 times 7. This is like the 8, and this is like the parentheses 3x minus 2, and this is like the parentheses negative 3x plus 15. They're just three things that we're multiplying together. Now, in this case, whether I multiply 5 by 7 and get 35, then multiply that by 2 and get 70, it be the same as if I multiply 2 times 5 and got 10, and multiply by 7 and got 70, or for that matter, did 2 times 7 times 5, got 14 multiplied by 5 and got 70, or 2 times 7 times 5 is, I guess that didn't change much, 35, yeah, because yeah, I only switched these two around, so we're still going to get the same as this, really. So the point there is what we have is the question that you're asking can be addressed with something called the associative property multiplication, whether I multiply these together first and then that, or these together first and then that, it's the same associative property. Which ones associate with each other first doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so, either way, but let me show you a mistake I saw, somebody distributing the eight first, this is what I saw. So first let's distribute the eight, let's make sure we're all, like, we got a basic distribution problem. So we're gonna multiply the eight by this, it's just the eight times this, you're not gonna distribute it to there and to there, any more than you would if you were going to do 2 times 5 times 7, you wouldn't do 2 times 5 and 2 times 7. You would multiply two things together, get the result, multiply that by the next thing. Right? That's what you do here. Multiply these together, get the result, multiply it by that after that. So let's distribute the 8 into 3x minus 2. What's that going to look like? 24x. 24x. Here's the mistake. I've already made it because I have written this correctly. See, this is everything from here. It's like the, the entire result from multiplying 8 by that parenthesis. Just like 2 times 5 is 10, like 10, that whole number 10 is the product of 2 times 5. And that whole 10, all of it, has to get multiplied by 7. Not just part of it, all of it. Okay. So all of this needs to get multiplied by all of that. It needs to be in parentheses. All the entire result of 8 times 3x minus 2 needs to get multiplied by negative 3x plus 15. If I just left it the way it was, it looks like this person wants me to just distribute this negative 16 into the parentheses and then add a 24x to the end. That's not correct. We're going to multiply all of that by this. So we have a parentheses times a parentheses. And how's that going to uh, negative 16 times 3x, negative 3x. Negative 16 times negative 3x? Uh, and plus 15. Okay, 
goal. Okay, so you took this and you multiply by that. Okay. times 15, negative number, 16 times 15, 25, 240, I'll graph my calculator, 16 times 15, 240, negative 240, negative times positive is negative, then you distribute it to negative 16, now I'll distribute the 24x, remember this x gets distributed as well. 24x times negative 3x is negative 72x squared. And 24x times 15, 360x. If we were to write them in the standard order of descending powers of x, we would do negative 72x squared first. That's the only x squared there is. Followed by what? 360, but we also have 48, right? So 360 plus 48x. 360 plus 40 would be four, uh, 400, plus 8 would be 408x minus 240. If I were to multiply these together first, and then combine all the like terms in there, and, and then distribute the 8 into the answer, like the full answer that you get, you'll wind up with this exact same thing. So in answer to the question, should we multiply by 8 first, or should we multiply the two parentheses together first? As long as you do that, that stuff correctly, it doesn't matter which order you do it. Any other questions about this? About anything else? Nope. No. If you don't have questions, that's what I'm going to do. Install me with some questions if you like. Cameron, do you have any questions? How about number 12? Okay, Steve. All you need to do is ask. Number 12. Here have parentheses. Taking negative 5 times x times the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute this by negative 5x into the parentheses. So we have negative 5x times 2x squared. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And what's x times x squared? x cubed. Because x squared is x times x. We have x times x times x, which is x cubed. And it did not listen to my brain. Negative five x times eight x. Negative five times eight is negative forty. X times x. X squared. Negative five x times negative five is positive twenty five x. And there's that seven x being added on. So negative ten x cubed minus forty x squared plus thirty two x. When you're distributing things that have, especially negatives and x's get just kind of disappeared for some reason. Some, you know, when people are distributing, watch out for those negatives. If you multiply a negative by a positive, you should get a negative. Negative by a negative, you should get a negative by a positive, you should get a negative. And negative by a negative, you should get a positive. Uh, and if there's an x there, it gets multiplied as well. All right. Yes. 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 Yes.
Questions? Good.